certainly. Donald Trump says today that he has a short list of nominees uh, that he could potentially nominate to serve in this incredibly critical position, which comes at a critical time for the nation when the Supreme Court, as it is in its current constitution, is very divided. You have a lot of five to four votes uh, where the majority is just a bare majority. And this would be something that likely would tilt the court into a direction going to the right. Uh, and as a result, it, this is a generational appointment where it's not like somebody is going to be serving for just a couple of years or a single term. Is Anthony Kennedy, who served 30 years on the court, proves this is a lifetime appointment that uh, can last truly a generation or more. Mm -hmm. Well, Justice Kennedy was instrumental in, in key votes such as same-sex marriage, abortion access, and affirmative action. And Democrats are already saying a Trump-appointed judge would reverse the progress that's been achieved over decades. Is that fair? I we'll expect Democrats to be hitting this point time and time again. We are in the midst of a midterm election right now, and the Democrats, you better believe, are going to come out with advertisements and communications constantly saying that, look, if you believe that the Supreme Court should be more balanced, if you believe that the Supreme Court should reflect uh, the liberal leanings of the United States, that you're going to want to push back against this and that you're want wanting uh, to vote for Democrats. Uh, the U.S. Senate, of course, has to confirm any nominee that Donald Trump puts forward. And as a result, if the Senate is in control uh, or the Democrats are in control of the U.S. Senate, which it is not now, Republicans are, then the Democrats, uh, were they to take over the Senate next year, would be in a much greater position, of course, to determine who ultimately served on the Supreme Court. That being said, Anthony Kennedy has been a swing vote for most of the 30 years that he's been on the court. He was nominated, as you mentioned, by Ronald Reagan, certainly a conservative, a Republican. So even when you think that a certain president is going to nominate a certain person with a certain philosophy, it always doesn't tend, it doesn't always tend to work out just that way. So, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure that you've uh, kind of couch the nominees that go forward and, and not just say, hey, they're just going to be a mirror image of the president who nominated them. Mm -hmm.